Pasensya na po sa mainay na aso pero hayaan nyo na. One trip na ako. 12 a.m. na guys. Mahal ko guys ang mga aso. Don't get me wrong. Pero tulugan na. O, ako na lang yung gising eh. May galit ata yung aso sa akin. Tapos na siya. Hindi. Tingnan nyo guys. Pag nagsasalita ako, kumakahul siya. Tapos na. Oh, see? Tapos na? Oh, nahiya. Oh. <laughs>Everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do my February book haul. So, before we proceed, guys, with the book haul, I will introduce you to Phil Borg. So, yan siya, guys. I will put the logo here. If you don't know Phil Borg's, it's Filipino Booktubers Organization. I'm really blessed and happy because I'm one of the founder and admins of Phil Borg. So, yeah. I'll link ko na lang, guys, down in the description box yung IG account namin. So, if you want to see your favorite Filipino booktuber, um, dun namin in update guys yun. So, yeah. Another thing, um, disclaimer, I'm not here to brag. I'm just here to share with you guys all the books that I got this month. And, actually, may iniintay pa akong four packages, pero hindi ko na sila kayang intayin. Kailangan ko na mag-film and siguro i- bubukhol ko na lang sa Instagram ko. So, look forward to that. I don't know. Hindi ko pa alam kung anong plano ko or baka mag-vlog ako and dun ko na lang siya i-unbox. So, we'll see. Hindi ko alam. I got 14 books this month, guys. And, um, hindi, hindi po ako, guys, pumunta sa BBW because first, tamad po tayong tao. Sobrang tamad kong gumala, guys. Tamad po akong lumabas ng bahay. Lumalabas lang ako ng bahay pag feel ko. Pero pag hindi talaga guys, I'm not gonna go out. I'm just gonna stay in my room, read, or mamimili na lang ako sa online. At least nakahiga lang ako. Sobrang tamad ko guys, lumabas. Promise. Uh, pero yung MIBF, hindi ko na yun palalampasin. Um, yun na yung inaabangan kong book fair or book sale. May mga nabili ako from National Bookstore. Meron naman from online shop. And pag nakalimutan ko guys, kung ano talaga yung username nila or mali man yung sinabi ko, Basta, ililink ko na lang down in the description box. Let's proceed with the book haul, guys. Um, I got two books from Mint Books PH. I will link their uh, IG down in the description box. As far as I know, may shopper rin po sila. So, yeah. Anyway, the first book that we have here is Sewage by Sarah Henning. And it's a hardbound format. So, this is a retelling of Little Mermaid. But this time, ang makikita natin is yung backstory ng villain, which is Ursula. I really love this kind of novel. Kasi most of the time, ang nakikita lang natin uh, side is yung sa protagonist. Hindi natin nakikita yung mga reasons or yung backstory ng mga villain. This one, I'm really, really excited to pick this one up. Um, and yeah, I really love books that involves mermaid, of course, you know that. So I'm really excited to get into this novel, so yeah. The next book that I got from Mint Books PH is The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. So I got this in hardbound format. So I'm currently editing, and I realized I said Throne of Glass series. Dapat Kingdom of Ash. So, sorry. Um, yeah. Let's go back to the haul. You know that I got Throne of Glass series last month. And, puro paperback sila. And, sinadya ko yun, guys. Buti na lang paperback yung mga yun. Kasi, gold siya. Parang gusto ko mag-stand out tong librong to. And, this is the last book sa Throne of Glass series. Kaya, sobrang happy ako because magsustand out siya sa collection ko. So, yeah. Itong sunod ko, ipapakita ang libro. Hindi ko maalala kung saan ko nabili. As in, hindi ko makita sa uh, DM ko or sa IG ko. As in, hindi ko alam kung saan ko siya nabili, guys. But, this is The City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. And this is a middle grade fantasy novel. This is about our main character, Cass. After she drowned, guys, she can pull back the veil that separates the living from the dead so she can see ghost. Basta, naka, basta nakakakita siya ng ghost. Yun lang yung alam ko dito, guys. And hindi ko rin alam kung magkano ko siya nabili. Ang galing-galing ko talagang booktuber. Hindi po dapat ako tinutularan. So, yeah, I'm just excited though. Hindi ko alam kung babasahin ko agad siya. Kung babasahin ko man siguro to, kailangan kasama ko yung boyfriend ko or mga kapatid ko. Kasi po, matatakotin po ako. And hindi ko alam kung horror novel to. I'm not sure. Pero kasi Victoria Schwab siya and 
sobrang favorite ko talaga si D.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab. That's why I got this book. Even if I'm not sure kung babasahin ko siya. Kasi talagang idol ko lang talaga si Victoria Schwab. So, yun. Let's proceed with the last three books that I got from online shop. Siya naman is si Laguna Fables. Um, I will link her IG down in the description box. I got three books from her. Ang una ko nabili from Laguna Fables is The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. And uh, the only thing that I know about this book is our protagonist doesn't believe in magic. But then she found out or discovered that she has magic. So, yun lang. Yun lang talaga yung alam ko dito. Hindi ko alam talaga yung bakit ako nagbubuktub. Wala naman ako masabi. <laughs> The next book that I got from Laguna Fables is An Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason by Virginia Boker or Boker. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but that's it. This is about our main character, Catherine, and her mission is to kill the queen. And then she's gonna meet this guy named Toby who is a spy to the queen and has his own secrets. So that's it. That's all I know. Wala kayong maaasahan sa akin pagdating sa summary. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na po. The last book that I got from Laguna Fables is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I'm just interested because of the cover. <laughs> Yun lang. Kasi hindi ko inaalam yung summary. But, um, I as far as I know, this is a feminist book. Of course, our protagonist is female. So, yeah. <laughs> Girl power na naman to, guys. So, let's proceed with all the books that I got from National Bookstore. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I got 9 books from NBS. And, yun, hindi na nga rin kasi ako nakapunta sa BBW. Kaya, namili na lang ako sa online and sa National Bookstore dito sa amin. So, the first book that I got is Evermore by Sarah Holland. This is the second installment. As far as I know, duology lang siya. Hindi ko sure. But, yeah, this is the second book sa Everless. And, I'm really excited to pick this one up. Medyo madami-dami pa yung TBR ko ngayon. And I don't know kung mababasa ko agad siya. Everless is one of my favorite books right now. But yeah, I got this for 489 pesos. And this is a dystopian and fantasy novel at the same time. So, yeah. And the next book, I don't know if this is a book or a uh, graphic novel, but anyway, this is And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness. This is my first book or graphic novel, hindi ko alam kung anong tawag dito, by Patrick Ness. And ayan kasi siya guys, may, may illustration siya sa loob. So, yeah. Um, I don't know anything about this book, pero sobrang nakikita ko siya sa National Bookstore lagi. And ang ganda niya guys... Mahilig kasi ako guys sa painting. Parang ang ganda niyang gayahin guys. So, hindi ko alam kung kita nyo. Yan siya guys. Ang ganda oh. And I got this for 459 pesos. And let's proceed with the next book that we have here which is The Glass Pair by Lauren Stefano. I got this for 415 pesos. It's about our main character Will. She's the fourth child and only daughter of the king of the wealthiest nation in the world. And her dad was obsessed with building an empire and causing war. Then until one night, um, Will was attacked and then she discovered she has powers. She can turn people into gemstones. So the next book that we have here is The Wicked Dip by Shi Earnshaw or Shea. I don't know how you pronounce her name. Again, lagi na lang. I got this for 495 pesos. This is a YA fantasy novel. Ang nakalagay kasi dito, two centuries ago, three sisters were sentenced to death for witchery. Uh, stones were tied to their ankles and they were drowned in the deep water surrounding the town. Now, for a brief time each summer, the sisters return, stealing the bodies of the three troubled girls so that they may seek their revenge, luring boys into Sparrow's Harbor and pulling them under. So, I heard mixed review about this book. Um, yung iba hindi gusto, yung iba gusto nila. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, though I wanna try it out. So, yeah. The next book that we have here is All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stickwater and I got this for 489 pesos. I don't know anything about this book pero sobrang nipis niya for 489 pesos. So, um, we'll see if mabibitin tayo or makukulangan. We'll see. Sana magustuhan ko siya kahit manipis siya. So, yeah. The next book that we have here is The Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. So, uh, if you like Six of Crows, magugustuhan nyo din daw to. So, I really fell in love with Six of Crows. That's why I want to try this out and see if I'm gonna like it. Hopefully, yes. And I got this for 419 pesos. Let's proceed with the next book that we have here, which is 
truly devious by Maureen Johnson. So yeah, I, I know guys na napakita ko na to sa last book haul ko. Pero paperback kasi yung binili kong yun and nakakita ko ng hardbound format. Nasabi ko dun sa last book haul ko na gusto ko ng hardbound format ng librong to. So, I did get my hardbound format. I got this for 699 pesos and as you can see, I'm done reading this book. I'm waiting for my second book. Um, which is The Vanishing Stair. So, this is about our main character, Stevie Bell, and she's into true crime. And she's gonna go to this school named Ellingham Academy, one of the most famous schools in Vermont or in U.S. Ellingham Academy is a school where the smartest students go. They can be focused with one certain topic. For example, Stevie Bell is into true crime, so don't siya focus. Ellingham Academy was founded by Albert Ellingham and he's one of the most richest uh, businessmen in the 20th century. Shortly after the school was opened, Albert Ellingham's wife and daughter was kidnapped. The only clue is a riddle with the pseudonym of Truly Devious. So that's it. Sobrang nakakatakot guys yung riddle or ako lang yung natakot. I don't know if I'm gonna do book review about this book. We'll see. Let me know in the comment section below if gusto nyong mag book review ako about this novel. So yeah. So the next book that I got from National Bookstore, kanina ko lang siya binili, which is the Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armand Trout. I got this for 359 pesos. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ko siya binili. <laughs> Pero ni-recommend ata to sa akin ni Tony. I'm not sure. Basta may nag-recommend sa akin ito. So, binili ko na lang din. So, the last book that we have here is Into the Water by Paula or Paula Hawkins. I got this for 799 pesos. Medyo mahal siya for paperback but um, binigli ko na rin since as far as I know, this is a thriller novel and medyo gusto ko ngayon yung ganitong novel. Thriller and mystery novel yung hinahanap kong libro ngayon. So, this is the last book that I got. Yun nga, may iniintay pa akong apat na packages and hindi pa siya dumadating. Mga last week ko pa sila in order. So, gustuhin ko mang uh, isama sila sa Feb book haul ko pero masyado ng late guys and hindi ko alam kung kailan sila dadating. Hindi naman ako nagmamadali it's just that um, kailangan ko nang i-upload tong book haul na to para hindi ako matambakan ng edit and ng mga i-upload so yun. Uh, that's it for today. If you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media accounts that will be linked or written down in the description box. Again, thank you guys for watching. I love you and see you on my next video. Stay beautiful and happy reading. Bye-bye.